Uh, Mark Yellarducci, Secretary, California Emergency Management Agency, and we're here at the State Operations Center in Sacramento. What's prompted the State Operations Center and the activity we're seeing here? Well, we had an earthquake swarm uh, down in Imperial County, uh, principally in the area of the city of Brawley this morning, uh, that had resulted in a couple of large earthquakes and several moderate earthquakes. And um, this, this, uh, this earthquake swarm uh, caused some uh, the damage in the Imperial area, and we are responding uh, here at the State Operations Center in support of Imperial County. Now, the seismologist said that not this isn't the predictor of the big one. It's not on the southern tip of the San Andreas. It's it's different. It's a swarm of earthquakes. So, but it still causes concern for you and for emergency managers. And why is that? Absolutely. You know, any time that there's a swarm of earthquakes that could uh, cause. Um, uh, things that fall off shelves, uh, ceiling tiles to fall uh, from from the ceiling, uh, anything that could cause injury or uh, or death, it is of concern to us. So, from from the public safety standpoint, uh, you know, uh, this earthquake swarm, we want to just want to make sure that people uh, understand uh, how complex it is and 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 how safe they can be in preparing for uh, the earthquakes as they occur. And so you didn't just come down here because you saw that there was a 5.3 or 5.5 earthquake. It was because there was some uh, discussions beforehand that talked about maybe the potential to let people know that there's a great, you know, give them an advisory. Yeah, we actually have a, a very um, established protocol set forth in the state of California where we convene uh, the scientific community here from uh, uh, the USGS, from the, the California Geological S Survey, uh, from Caltech and the other uh, higher universities uh, institutions to be able to uh, address what, what the meaning of these earthquakes are. And so when we see a swarm like this or multiple earthquakes occur in an area, we're concerned what does it mean for uh, potential for greater earthquakes. In this case, we've learned that um, this earthquake swarm, uh, which produced a magnitude 5.5, could conceivably produce another 5.5 or, or possibly even up to a 6. And so because of that, we want to make sure that uh, all of the citizens are aware of this, the, the public safety agencies are aware of this, and if they need to, um, um, you know, put, put preparedness messages out uh, so that, you know, it minimizes any future or, or potential injuries that may occur. So if I'm a resident in Brawley and I felt this, um, or let's say I'm not a resident in Brawley and I'm there and I feel this, um, should I be concerned about that? What steps should I take? What should I do? Well, I mean, if you're a resident in Brawley, you've probably felt it because there's been well over 100 earthquakes over the last uh, several hours. And there probably will be uh, over the next 24 hours, uh, up to several weeks to a month, uh, a month or so. So, um, you know, citizens should, should, should prepare for this. You should take things, uh, secure things that are what we call non-structural or items that are on your shelf, either secure them in place or take them off the shelf for this period of time. Uh, you should have a family plan in place. Um, you have some supplies. If if you, we do get a larger earthquake that impacts the water supply or the power supply, you want to be able to have some some supplies in your home to be able to uh, uh, have power, have water, have food, and uh, know where your, your family members are. Um, you know, uh, whether your children are at school, what the school's procedures are, how to reach out to them in case you need to go reach them, uh, and, and know, maybe have a radio uh, with, with fresh batteries or, or a power um, uh, cranked radio so that you always have power in that radio so you can get important messages from the government. And so what are the folks behind you doing? These folks here are, are were activated here in the uh, um, State Operations Center to work with uh, Imperial County through our Regional Operations Center in, in uh, Southern California, and uh, they're continuing to assess what the needs may be of Imperial County, whether they need uh, water support or helicopter support, whatever the case may be. Uh, the way that's designed is the state operations are in support of what's happening through our regional centers in the south and through the county of Imperial it's, itself that's been impacted by the earthquakes.